compound data types group values into a single data. The primary compound data type that is available in Rust are tuples and arrays. In this video, we'll talk about tuples. I'll show you how to create a tuple, how to destructure it, and how to use the underscore to ignore some of the values. I'll also talk about an empty tuple. This is also called a unit type. And we'll look at an example of a nested tuple. Tuples are a group of values, and the value type can be different. Let's say that's T of type, let's say Boolean, U32, and char is equal to. The first value must be a Boolean, let's set this equal to true. The next one must be a number of type U32, let's set this to 1. And for char, let's set it equal to C. So this is a basic example of how to create a tuple. Given a tuple that is assigned to a variable, you can destructure it and then assign the inner values to another variable. So let's say let a, b, c equals to t. And what this will do is it will assign to the variable a the first value of this tuple t. The first value is a boolean which is equal to true. So this a will hold true. The next value will be a u32, so this will hold the number 1. And the last variable will be a char, which holds the value c, so this variable c will also hold the character c. Now if you didn't want to assign some of the variables, you can also use the underscore. So taking this same example, let's say I don't need the first value, so you can put an underscore here. And let's say you also don't need the last value, and then you can put another underscore here. And you can also create an empty tuple. So let's say that t is equal to just parentheses. Notice that there's no values inside the parentheses. This is an empty tuple. And it's also called a unit type. The main purpose of unit type is to return something without any data. In other programming language, this is like the void. We'll explore this idea further in other videos. And what you'll see is that we'll have some function that must return something but we don't actually need to return any data. In this case, we will return an empty tuple. Okay, in the last example, we can also create a nested tuple. So let's say that nested is equal to, so we can have a tuple, and inside this tuple, we can nest the tuple. The first value, let's put a float, 1.23, and the next value, let's put a character, let's say a, and let's also create another tuple, let's say a boolean, true, Let's put a u32, we can say 1, u32, and how about another character? Let's put a b, and for the last value inside this tuple, let's also put an empty tuple. So this is how you will create a nested tuple. Okay, next, let me show you how to access these tuples. The way you will access a tuple is by the index. Let's start with the simple example over here. I'll just copy this and then paste it here. So we have three elements. To access the first element, you will say t.0. And to access the second element, you say t.1. This is zero index. So to access the last element, you'll say t.2. And to show you a more practical example, let's print these out. Let's say print ln t is equal to, put a curly braces for the first element, curly braces for the second element, and curly braces for the third element. And here, say t.0, t.1 and t.2. Okay, let's try executing this code. Inside my terminal, I'll type cargo run dash dash bin. The name of the file is called tuple.rs. So the executable is named tuple. Execute it and we get the tuple is equal to true, one, and c. Okay, let me show you another example of accessing a nested tuple. Notice that we cannot just do t.0 since the tuple is nested. For example, how will we get the value 1.23? And how would we get the value, let's say this u32 of value 1. Okay, so let me show you that. So let's say print ln nested. And let's get from the first value of this nested tuple, let's get 1.23. So to do that, you say nested. To get the first value in this tuple, you need to access 0. This 0 will be this tuple over here. To get the first element from this, we will need to we'll need to say dot zero again. This will give us the value 1.23. How about this one of type u32? Well, it's the second element in this tuple, so we'll need to access nested dot one. And when we do this, we'll get access to this tuple. From this tuple, we want to access the second value. The second value will be stored at one. Okay, let's try executing the code again. Run the code and we get nested 1.23 and 1. 